Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and have you ever felt so frustrated with your computer that you just wanted to take it and go like that? Well, fortunately, I have the new Yoga 2 Pro. It doesn't mind at all. Epic Review Guys. And if you know me, once I found a computer this color, I had to have it, but it's good looks aside. This is from Lenovo. This is a computer, laptop, tablet. It does just about everything you would want it to do. It actually has finally made me appreciate Windows 8. I've been meaning for a year now to upgrade this old giant heavy computer to something newer, but I didn't want to go to Windows 8 because you got all those tiles and it's harder to use in keyboard and mouse mode. So I've been putting it off, but I went to Best Buy and I picked this up and thought, well, that's interesting that it's a computer. And when you do this, whoop, it is in tense mode, and you can also use it in stand mode for watching your movies or whatever. And you can bend it all the way around so that it's flat. You still feel the keys on the back, but now you have a giant tablet. And this is where Windows 8 really shines. It has all the features of a regular computer. It's got the touchpad and the keyboard when you're in that mode. And when you want to use it as a tablet, when you want to hold it here, when you want to have it on your lap, when you want to have it in bed, you've got tablet mode. If you want to see more about the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro, I have a link down below the video. Now, I bought this for just under, a hair under, $1,000. They do have more expensive models with more memory and uh, faster processors. This is a Core i5 processor. It's the newest Haswell, so it's very energy efficient. This should last, I think according to their battery tests, about nine hours. According to real other reviewers' battery tests, maybe about six hours, but still that's pretty good for a laptop. The Core i5 in this is an ultra low voltage model, so it um, runs normally at 1.6 gigahertz, but it can turbo boost up from that when you do something more demanding, but then it drops back down to save power. Has four gigabytes of memory, is not upgradable. That's where they get you. You can't upgrade the memory, it's soldered in, so you gotta buy it with as much as you want. If I'd had my druthers and a bigger wallet, I would have bought their very top of the end model, which had eight gigabytes of memory and the Core i7. Now the screen on this is 13.3 inches. It's a little bit smaller than the 14 inch on my Asus system. Its resolution is 3200 by 1800, and my computer that I've been working with for going on four years now, this is barely high def, the 1300 screen. So the resolution is so much greater in the new Yoga 2 Pro, but it's actually ahead of its time for some apps and some sites. It has trouble occasionally with some, some programs, basically, in terms of resizing it. Because the resolution is so high, if it doesn't let Windows 8 do the resizing. The, the things that you have to click on or tap, tap on are so tiny. But that'll improve as time goes by and as screens get closer for everyone to this type of resolution. Now an advantage of having nearly 4K screen is we are going 4K on this channel later this month. We are upgrading our hardware and we will be putting our videos up in 4K, which won't affect you if you don't have 4K, so don't worry that you won't be able to see our videos anymore. YouTube automatically looks at the resolution of whatever screen you're working with, and they send you the video signal to look best on that screen. But if you have the ultra high definition 4K screens, you will be able to watch my face in the super high definition coming the end of this month. Now the secret to the Yoga Pro is the hinge. It's made to Take the screen and the keyboard and rotate it all the way around. And it keeps track of which mode you're in. If you're using it like this, it activates the keyboard and the mouse. If you flip it around, this is deactivated and you use just the touch screen. The Yoga 2 Pro is an ultra book. It's, it's ultra light. It uh, weighs right at three pounds and um, it therefore doesn't have a CD or DVD drive built in. You have to stream your movies or download them and watch them. The keyboard is nice, full size keyboard, plenty of room. I tried it out at Best Buy and was able to type just about my normal typing speed. Now, I didn't buy it at Best Buy because I love this color. Once I found out they had it in orange, I had to get the orange version. And Best Buy just has the uh, silver and black. So you do have to order it online in order to get that. I've really been trying to replace this for a year, but I did not want to go to Windows 8. It just, 
wasn't that good for the keyboard and mouse use and that's really what I was interested in. But when I tried this out, finally I saw the light and I see now I see how the Windows 8 touch screen integration and the tiles and all that can work out. But you really need a device like this to show you that. So if you're looking for a new computer and you're going to have to go to Windows 8 anyway, take a look at something like this. You'll end up using it for things you didn't even think of, I believe. Lastly, I'll give you a little sampling of the audio here. I have it in tent mode. Through my beard, so after much research, I went out and bought this Norelco Perfect Beard. I'm going to see if this can do the job. Pretty good. So, in with the new, out with the old. If you'd like to see some more in-depth videos about this, we have uh, the unboxing video up on the Epic Reviews Tech channel. I'll put a link to that here and we'll be doing some more, more in-depth usage videos. Also, I'm planning to change out the wireless card that's in this. This only does wireless N and I have wireless AC here, which runs on the five gigahertz frequency, not so crowded, runs at higher speeds. So. I've heard you can swap out the card, you have to take this apart to do it. So when I'm feeling brave enough to attempt that, I'll definitely video it and put that up on our Epic Reviews Tech channel along with other more in-depth feature reviews of this and the links to that should be right over here. And as for this channel, don't worry, you'll be seeing lots more of this little guy. I think this is going to become my new constant companion. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy at Epic Review Guys.